What's going on? It's your boy, Cavi Kingpin, Just For The Hell Of It Podcast. We in the building on this beautiful Saturday afternoon, and I have a guest today. Um, you want to introduce yourself, sweetheart? Hey, everybody. My name is Nicole. I am from Oakland, California. And I'm currently a college student. Cool. You're from Oakland, so like Acorn, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You from Acorn area? Um... Well, I just like uh, well, I moved. Well, I moved from Oakland when I was young, but I'm on my way. Um, I moved back. Okay, okay, okay. And you currently live in Atlanta right now. Yes. All right. Cool. 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 Just tell me a little bit about yourself, right quick, before we uh introduce the topic. Uh, usually we have my boy Justified, but he's at like a uh some type of uh parade or some shit like that, and he got a bunch of noise in his background, so we can't have that shit on the show today. So I'm going to just, it's going to be myself and it's going to be Nicole today. And we're going we're gonna to have a good show. Uh, so go ahead, introduce yourself just a little bit. Well, what's up? Um, so yeah, I said I was a college student. I am currently as well at Georgia State. And I am studying business administration because I want to own my own business. And I will be taking up my realtor license so I can sell property not only in Atlanta, Georgia, but also in Oakland, in um, Florida, like all over. I'm trying to get it so that I can be get into the bank like, hey. <laughs> okay, that's dope. That's dope. Okay. Um, well, you know, just for the hell of a podcast, uh, sometimes there's no holes buyers on here, just to let you know before okay. we get into the topic. Um, usually, like I said, my boy Justify be on there, but he's he's at some parade or some weird shit. I don't know if he really was invited there or he just there without any children, which would be mad weird. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully he's really there with kids. So Yeah. Yeah, because that won't be good. But um, go ahead, introduce the topic. Okay, so the topic is why do women choose, why do women flourish with bad guys and why do good guys finish last? Okay, um, let me let me touch on it right quick. Uh, it, I think that's so true because uh, the problem is, you know, uh, women a guy guy that's really nice and stuff. He 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 can uh-huh. be nice and do all that, and he gets shitted on. And the bad guy who do the girl dirty, them the girl. That's who the females always chasing. From your perspective, why is that? Um, well, for me, I feel as if really, it's like this whole stigma surrounding that good guys are playing and good guys do exactly what they're supposed to do with, uh, and a lot of girls feel like, I don't know why they feel like this, but they feel as if, you know, if he does what he's supposed to do, he's not tough, he's not hard, that he's a sweet guy, that that honestly they feel as if the relationship is not going to be as exciting or entertaining. When honestly, I think that's kind of stupid because what is wrong with having a guy that is appreciative of you, that's sweet, that respects you, that cares for you, just because he's a good guy doesn't mean that he's not tough, that he can't, um, what's it called, protect you and him if something was to happen. And this whole stigma with hood guys, hood niggas, bad guys, it's just this whole thing where it's like a life of excitement. I, and it's not always excitement because I've been there. i done that. And that shit was not exciting. Like, it was cute, but that cuteness runs out because just like that whole bad boy hood nigga stigma is stimulating the girl, it's stimulating also other girls. And I think that just the attracting other girls to want to participate and be a part of that foolishness that comes with like these hood dudes and these bad dudes. And how do they do it? And, and you know what? You, you, you super right about that. Uh, but I'm just saying, like, the good guys come and try to do right by the female, but you got these hood niggas slanging dirty-ass cock and, and going to jail yeah. and doing all this shit. And, and I'm talking about the women is, excuse me, they go crazy over these niggas. So my thing is, I'm trying to, is, so you telling me is, is, is the excitement of it, whereas this, this good nigga working at Walmart with his damn uh, top button button all the way up is getting shitted on and cheated on and done dirty. Why 
You over here with the hood, nigga, getting heavy cock in your mouth or, or, or getting puddles left on the small of your back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but I just, I, I don't understand, like, because, I mean... Like I said, I've been there, so when I was attracted to that whole bad guy image... Right, cool. why, why was you attracted to it? Because it was this whole stigma saying, like, it was a stigma surrounding the whole fact of, okay, if he could, he would protect you, you know? And honestly, we can go back to entertainment. How bad guys are portrayed, are not portrayed, portrayed on yeah. movies, yeah. on social media, like, they're the fine dude. I mean, like, yeah, the good guys we might put in, but it's just a rough edge. It's like an edge with the bad so, guy. So, so what? Something why? like, okay, you might not always get your way. And you know how with women, I think this is with people, if you know, you always are giving somebody their way, always doing what, you know, they expect you to do. A lot of times you become predictable. Okay. And a lot of times people feel as if you're predictable, you're easily you're easy to manipulate. I can easily get stuff out of you. So and so you manipulated niggas. Age, people you, be trying to get over all No, no, no. Did you manipulate niggas? Because. Have you manipulated niggas? What you say? Have you manipulated niggas? Um Come on, cut this shit. Yeah. Have you manipulated niggas ever? Yeah, because, I mean, <laughs> and it wasn't to be rude, but I did because I feel like I did what I had to do because those dudes had portrayed my trust. And also, it's like, dudes be, some, a lot of dudes, they be grinding on the low. Yeah. They be grinding. So, I mean, I haven't manipulated somebody where I'm like, okay, Oh, I'm gonna you. I'm gonna manipulate. I'm gonna manipulate you to give me the gun and go rob the bank and go set up Craig from down the street. No, oh, shit. no, 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 so, no. So, so you wanted to gr- mean, you didn't I grind me over. Okay. You- where I mean, I didn't even say manipulate. It's like I just had this kind of charm where if I ask or just because of what is expected of myself, they want to match my fly. If it was if. They had to buy me gifts, you know. They had to take me certain places because that's what's expected of myself. Because I can do it my damn self. However, it's like, if you want to be with me, if you want to talk to me on that level, yeah. oh, you have to come correct, and I mean all the way. Do, do they get the buns? No. Okay. Uh-uh. So who get the, who like, get the buns? Like, thinking that you, just, you can't get what you want. You can't get what you want unless you give up the buns. Uh uh-uh. uh. Who get the buns really then? Got it, no. Listen, who this get is the how buns? This is you know he ain't got it. This is why you know. Listen, this is how you know he ain't got it. If you okay, if he's trying to give you something, and then the first thing he asks for, well, okay, we gonna have sex. If I give you this, we gonna do this. Girl, that means he really gonna have it because that means he's only with you to try to chase that thing. But if he really got it, girl, he don't mind sending here. He don't mind. Been in there until he finally gets what he wants because it's gonna build up to it. And he has more money to spend. He has more time to um, dedicate to you to try to be getting to know you better. A broke nigga, he only gonna try to spend that one check, not even that check, spend that one band, that one one hundred dollar bill to try to prove himself. But a that oh, he's not afraid to drop on what he really wants because he's going to invest his time wisely. Can I get an amen for the ladies in the back? Amen. Please. So what, amen. what nigga get the buns? Um, what nigga get the buns? I, I feel as if it's based on, for me, how I connect with him mentally. Because dudes don't realize it. If you stimulate a woman's mind, yeah. Oh, my God, she will stimulate your body. Like, now more than ever. I mean, yes, we have a lot of women that are definitely impressed by physical physical features and what you can do from a monetary aspect. But most women, like grown women, because a lot of women out here, we independent. A lot of women out here taking care of these niggas. I'm just going to be honest. A lot of niggas out here riding around thinking they riding dirty. Nah, they riding around in their baby mama car. They riding around in their big sister car. They little sister, they mama them car. Okay? So yeah. a lot of women out here are independent, and we taking care of our own. So we want a man that can stimulate our mind. Because if we can provide for ourselves, provide for our children and our family with our own two hands and our own two feet, uh, we want some guys to bring something different to the table. And a lot of dudes don't have that mental 
capacity where they can actually hold a good conversation, where right. they can stimulate dumb, a dumb niggas. World where they can learn, where a woman can learn something from them. And that's what a woman really likes. Like I be talking to my girls out here and they want a man that can give them something mentally. Because when you control that mind, yeah. you have the whole body. So that's where the real winners and the scammers at. They're the ones fucking these women minds up. That's, that's why, why pimps win. The house to call everything from a woman. Not just one thing, not just her body, but the whole damn package. That's why pimps is so uh, successful, right? You say what? That's why pimps is successful. Yeah, is that why you say sex is successful? That's why pimps. Pimps is successful. Pimps? Pimps, yeah, people that put bitches yeah. on the track for money because they control their mind mm-hmm. and then they can control their body. And what what I was saying was, uh, I agree with everything you're saying, and uh, some niggas don't be having no conversation. But I was just trying to get down. A lot of niggas don't know how to conversate. If you got like you realize, a lot of dudes do not know how to conversate. No, no, you niggas just want some buns. A Democrat or Republican, yeah. and they be like, "Oh, I'm a Presbyterian, like a vegetarian." Wait, wait, <laughs> what? That's wait, a dumb nigga. Wait. <laughs> They ain't got nothing to do with it. All, no, all them niggas want to do is eat eat up all your food in your house, watch uh, yep. Netflix, use your password, and slay dirty ass cock. That's it. Yep. So, my thing I is I don't this, know why. If, if, I don't know why. And that's another thing. Yeah. I don't know why. Because it's like, a lot of these cities, especially these heavily populated black cities, are number one. St. Louis is number one in gonorrhea. Everybody knows oh, Atlanta shit. is number one in AIDS. Motherfucking Miami is number one in chlamydia. Ugh. Like, But everybody out here Hot is boys. such a rock. And it's like, you're not clean. Yeah. Because if the city dirty, you probably dirty too. Well, let me ask so, you. Uh-uh. Let, let, let me ask you. Up. If a guy stimulates your body, he can, can he sling that wood raw? Um, a lot of dudes do that. No, no, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Oh no. Oh no, baby. Oh no, baby. What, what can a nigga sling it raw? I am not trying to risk my life and my health for some dirty. No, what dick. if he if a nigga if a nigga got, uh he went to y'all went to the doctor and he clean, you gonna let him sling it raw? Um uh, he has some no. Say it again. Mm-hmm. Because I can't just be giving guys just like my my man, my man has to do this. Because even if he goes to the doctor and say nope, uh, uh-uh, because nowadays niggas are nut in you. That's another thing. You already got to worry about the test and if he's clean, but then you got to worry about niggas holding their neck. Because nowadays niggas don't do that. Okay. They don't hold it in at all. They just dip and go. Just let it out the pot. Just let it in. <laughs> yeah, uh, my man Justify actually. Uh, that's I really wanted him on here. He he basically he said he have uh wore a condom since Young Jeezy first album, and I was like okay, and I understand why. He just said he's like I slink raw wood from coast to coast. That he's, is unhealthy. He said he want everything life. coming his way. He said he want everything coming his way. And I, I don't know what that means. Um, I, I think he must want AIDS. He must want gonorrhea, <laughs> crack. Like, they have mumps for gonorrhea, and you can't even get rid of that. What, mumps? Mumps for gonorrhea. Uh, oh, yeah, monster gonorrhea. That That's disgusting. Just that's like, just, you got you know, a dirty, you just have a dirty ass wood if you got monster gonorrhea. Come on, man. Yeah, and people out here really have that. Wow. That's 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 disgusting. And but but guess what? That goes back to the good guy and the, and the bad guy. See, the good guy, he's gonna he's gonna be careful. He's gonna bring you full. He's gonna do all this stuff. But the the bad guy is he gonna smash you? He gonna smash your friend? If he can smash your sister, he gonna take your sister down. And he's slinging exactly. all this dirty wood. And then most of the time, y'all females is like, oh, I love him, and y- y'all still you know cleaning his and dirty still wood. Him. I know a lot of girls who were like. You know, say like they won't allow this, they won't, you know, do this. But when it comes to that dude, they just allow him to do any and everything. Okay, what's your ideal? What's your ideal man then? My ideal man. Yes. Um, my ideal man is somebody who definitely is self-sufficient. Okay. He's you like money. Driven. He's fine. Got nice teeth. He's intelligent. What is fine? I mean, like fine, like what? Light skin niggas, dark skin niggas, dirty niggas. I mean, so 
I don't want to be, you know, I don't really just grandma night, but <laughs> I was like, I mean, I've had my, like, I'm light skin, so the light skin, I only dated one light skin, dude, and that was more so, like, my cousin, he felt like a cousin, like, we only kissed one, and, while friend, and it was more like a friendship. Yeah, y'all, two light skin so, people make a Steph Curry baby. You don't want that. Them Steph Curry niggas so like they breast I've been thing. always um, more Michael so Ely. milk chocolate who had chocolate baby. You like chocolate niggas, so you trying to mix the you trying yes. to mix the white chocolate. Break me out the piece of that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> oh shit! Well, okay. Uh, you want that? What about uh, Big Woods or Little Woods? Um, we can't hike down with the big, big, but to be honest, it's like, I like big, but I like a nice, good size, because the thing about it is that there are people out there who have big things, don't know how to work it, don't know how to move it. The key to a woman's high level of sex drive and horniness is if a man knows what to do with his stick. I don't want no little thing, Uh uh-uh. Because I'm a grown woman. I want, I want what I know I can handle. However, I want a man that knows how to rotate, okay, them hips and do what to do to please me down there. Okay. Well, what's a, what's a, what's a nice size? I, we, we, you know. Um, a nice size for me, I would definitely say I would like the whole, uh, a good, uh, I, my, I, let me say six and a half and up. Oh, six and a half and up. Okay. If you want, uh-huh. if you under six, you should you should have a vagina. Seriously. What you say? <laughs> I said if a nigga under six inches, he should have a vagina. For real. Yeah. Come on, like six inches is that long. Mhm. I mean, yeah, you know uh, that, but uh, yeah. I, I, okay. All right. You, you you're not asking for much. You know, some girls be like, no, I need ten inches and. Nigga gotta be muscular. And that's the thing that this is not even real. Um, it's not even realistic. Like to be honest, like girls be wanting that, and then gonna have a messed up arteries and kidneys <laughs> and liver and shit just because they asking for it. Oh, like shit. girl, bye. touch your heart. <laughs> yeah, touch your heart, catch your back. They oh. knocked out your spinal cord, <laughs> and now you mad enough to get because you can't walk. Okay, uh, are you single? Me, yes, I am single as a dollar dollar bill. Why? Because I want to. Okay. Like, um, what I've seen out here just wasn't popping. Like, uh, like I had a friend, her baby daddy, her baby daddy left her for her gay best friend, who's a boy. You know, I've had. I've seen stuff where, you know, of course, I've seen a lot of the lions, the cheating, the manipulation. Hold on, hold on, run it back. You said her baby daddy left her for a boy? Yes, her baby daddy left her for her boy, David. No, no, no. Uh What type of peanut butter and jelly shit is that, man? Yes, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter. That's nasty. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. And... Yeah, and I can't do with that. And, you know, a lot of stuff that I have seen has been more so a lot of dudes not being able to be trusted and down low or they just lying and just fucking the city. So that's what has made me just be like, you know, I'm going to focus more on myself because a lot of niggas don't even know what they want out Right, here. right. Let me, when- like, truth be told, they don't know what they want. They be wanting you. They work so hard to get the girl that everybody wants. Yeah. And then be embarrassing her with one of her followers. True, true, true. You so right. When when oh but when the last time you had a, a a stick in your box? You said what? When the last time you had some uh cock in your guts? Wow, it's been September. September is right, the man. last time. So what, what do you do? You just play with yourself or something? What, what are you doing? Um, no, see, I'm not even going to do that because I feel like my hands are small. So I feel like I just can't <laughs> get the, the slide that I want. I mean, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not like a self-pleasing person. However, I mean, I do watch my porn. And oh, hold on, wait, wait. You said you don't watch porn or you do? Motivated and hopeful. No, you said you do watch porn or don't? Yes. You watch porn? Uh-huh. Do you know who is Wesley Pipes? 
Wesley Pipes? No, I have. I see. I'm not familiar with all. What about the Pinky? Names. I definitely say that. It's like I more so do like. I go I go through categories instead of porn okay. stars. Well, let me let me ask you a question. Would you, would you ever do a threesome? Um, no. Why? Because I I'm not looking at a girl head. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. But what you don't have to. I mean, you you know you could customize your threesome like a salad bar. But if you was invited to a threesome, would you do it? You don't have to. What you know? What you I know? I'm invited, and my thing is. is I know, like, cause I just, I know that the guy is going to like end up leaving his girl for me. So I don't. Oh shit! You cocky! You said, hold on, hold on. You said you know a guy going to end up leaving his girl for you. Yeah, and I don't want to oh. do that. Too, so right? let me ask you. So what I'm saying is, you're open to doing it, but you just don't want to cause any trouble. No, I'm just, I'm just, I don't. Uh, uh, like, I mean, it's definitely, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't do that with my own relationship. No, but I don't think I would want to do that, like, with anybody relationship. I mean, I never, I've been asked to do it, but I always just turned it down because it was just something that, I mean, I didn't want to do. Oh, okay, okay. But if a nigga just say, yo, let me, let me, uh, let me, let me see what that box feel like, and he attractive, you're not going to throw him no pussy. He said, wait, wait, wait. I said, if a nigga, I'm going to give you a couple scenarios because this still goes on the subject of the, the, the bad guy, good guy. So you meet a guy and he's attractive and cool. He just say, "Hey, come on, let me just see what that box, what that box do." You uh, won't let him if see what that box do. See what that box about. Okay, yeah, you know, you can depend on who he is because I don't want anybody's mouth go down there because niggas be carrying shit in their mouth. Okay, what if he got a clean mouth? Oh, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to see that either. Okay, so what if he got a clean mouth? Then that's what I'm saying. Like, and he just want to do that. He don't want nothing else. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I've had that before. Oh shit, a nigga just give you some dome. Okay. <laughs> yes, I don't like that. Like niggas be getting head, girls be getting head too. Get that head and go. Thank you. Well, yeah, I, I, I never. That's I want to ask you about that because you know how guys a nigga be like, should I get some dome? Do females do carry it like that? I, I, I don't, I don't know. School me on that one. Yeah, I know it's girls that be, um, that be giving like I know girls who strictly would like rather just give head. Yeah. Than anything. And that hasn't been me. You said that hasn't been you? Not at all. No. Some people can do that, but that's just not anything that I wanted to do. I mean, some girls feel as if, like, they would rather give head to a dude than have sex. So you'd rather have sex than just get some head? No, I would rather, um, like, me right now, how I am definitely... Not dating and not looking for a guy. Yeah. I mean, I'm cool with like a dude giving me head versus giving me fucking him because I'm not having sex with anybody who I don't know about their status. I don't fuck with on that level. Like, nah. So, dude, you met a dude. He give up, me head and go though. Yeah, he ended up being cool and just like shit. Let me just give you some dome. You just gonna you let him do it. Mhm. Okay. All right. At least you keeping it real. At least you keeping it real. Um. Also, too, uh, guys carry themselves like, well, I mean, guys are smashing, too. I didn't see niggas just hit anything. That's one thing I'm not, I'm not touching anything. You're wild. Yeah, and a lot of niggas do that. They <laughs> you, <just hit> <laughs> yeah. Then also, too, um, when I talked to you before, we had a discussion. Is a new phenomenon in a, in a young generation. What is that? Do you remember what we was talking about? That new. Wait, what you say? I said last time I spoke to you, you uh, was telling me about it uh, is a new phenomenon in this generation that people do. Do you uh -huh. remember that? Oh, uh, wait, doing it in the ass? Yeah, yeah. Let's speak on that. Yeah, a lot of people do it in the ass. Okay, okay. Uh, and they think that's not having sex. That there, it's a lot of people who think that having sex in the ass is not. Um, they don't think that is considered actual sex. Like, I know, because I went to school with white girls, and they will always claim that they're a virgin, but then be bragging about doing sexual activities, having sexual relations with these dudes. And I'm just like, uh, having sex in the ass is definitely considered, in my opinion, a... Um, sexual act. It's, it's considered sex. Have, have you ever been fucked in your ass? 
No, never. Never. Somebody and ever I never tried? Will. Somebody ever tried? No. Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay. Why? I can't bring myself to doing that because the the ass was never meant right. to have sex with. I say what you want, but it wasn't. And God didn't create it that way. God created people that have sex and be what and be be drawing. Uh, okay. Oh. Now, I know people who are, you know, yeah, they have their preferences, <laughs> yeah. but for me, I am strictly a vagina, okay? You are the fucking in the self-lubricant, self-cleaning organ, not a muscle that can be stretched out, okay? Stretched out like elastic. Uh, do you have a big, yeah, bu- you have a big butt or a little butt? Houses. You got a big butt or a little butt? For me, I have a medium size butt, and it's you say... Okay, okay. You, you don't you ain't you don't want that ripped open. Oh no. <laughs> no. My man, well uh one of our uh hosts, uh her name Candy Kane, I think I told you about her. All she talk about is getting fucked in her ass. Like I think she said she get fucked in her ass more more than she get fucked in her pussy. Yeah, baby. And that's I, I guess that's her, but that's scary. Her little butt be dripping, dripping like ice cream when it's melting. And that's the thing, though. A lot of people don't realize, like, when you do stuff like that, like, you can't hold your booty. I mean, you can't hold your boo booty. <laughs> little stink butt. Call you stink. Like, where you at, stink? <laughs> yeah, and I can't do it. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that's nasty. Yo. <laughs> so, <laughs> right now, are you interested in a bad guy or a good guy? Well, I mean, I'm interested in... Uh, or fuck, like, maybe. To be honest, I mean, I would want I want a good guy, but I want a good guy who, because people, like I told you, people think that good guys are lame, they're scary, they're wimps, and they're not because I know some hood niggas or some bad guys who low key scary, who are high key scary. Actually, you pull out a gun, all that shit that they be talking about on Instagram and all that shit. No, they ain't really that hood. Well, so, well, for me, you... I want somebody who is a good guy, but who's able to defend himself, defend me, take up for me. Somebody who is, uh, what? Somebody who can match my fly. But I would rather have a good guy. So you, because you... that bad guy shit, that shit, they, the bad guys in the end don't love nobody but themselves. Right. So you don't you you don't want a nigga that fuck around and get arrested and go to jail and get penetrated by another inmate. Nah, I don't want that shit because I know what jail does to people. And I don't got time for that. Okay. Let me ask you a question, a scenario. If a dude just asked to uh kiss your raw butt cheek, would you let him? Kiss it? Yeah. Yeah, you kiss my ass. <laughs> ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on. I'm about to go there. You won't let nobody shove they wood in your backside, but would you let somebody eat the groceries? Um, yeah, I would never let nobody, um, I would never let nobody, what's it called, fucking uh, eat my ass. I mean, you can kiss my butt cheek, yeah. but I don't even want you, like, looking my ass on, like, nah. Why? 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 Because if I might like, get ticklish and fart, ooh, pink eye for your <laughs> Yo, ass, <what>? and <laughs> then, I mean, my ass is clean, but I don't want you coming up and looking my face a few times. Like with my ass, nah. Now, you my vagina, that's different. It's not my booty hole. But you, you won't mind letting the guy if just to kiss your butt cheek? Yeah. You can kiss it, rub it. Okay, okay, okay. Well, see, I like you being honest because you ask some females, they say no, and they doing all types of shit. They letting they shove exactly. fingers in their ass. They doing all this. They, they, they greasing it up with vas- old Vaseline. Everything, you know, like uh, my man Justify, <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said the head, no homo, the head of his joint got stuck in a girl butt before. Like how a Wait, dog, what? yeah, he said it got stuck in a girl butt before. Ooh, that sounds fucking painful. I don't, I don't know what he be doing. It sounds like some very highly pornographic H, uh, HD. Yeah, and it should type. sound scary. Yeah, he he's a, he's a savage. He's a monster. Then I got a homeboy named Nick at night. He just a total monster. I remember we was at this girl house playing cards. He pissed in the girl uh, bathroom sink. Um, I don't know why he said he do that to every girl house he go to. He pissed in a bathroom sink, 
and then he actually got some dome and left a puddle on her back. What? <laughs> I, these are my friends. This I don't know. really be having an interest in life. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Yeah, like, this man be doing some of everything. Maybe he needs his own channel on Pornhub. <laughs> Yo, would you... <laughs> so, I'm just... <laughs> So I'm asking that, so that's not rule. I ain't saying every random guy, but a guy you just meet. So a guy, you just say you just met the guy, cool, and he's like, hey, let me just kiss your butt cheek, bear. You will let him do it? Mm -hmm. You say yes or no? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Would you think he weird or you just like, fuck it, I know I look good, he just want to kiss my ass? Yeah, he just want to kiss my legs. Okay, 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 um... Fire, okay, uh, I think that's a good guy and bad guy type situation. I think sometimes the bad guy... Yeah, is just, I don't want no boring. I want a good guy, but I don't want him to be boring. I want boring. somebody that can excite me. Okay. Somebody that I can learn from. Yeah. No, I, I was just saying in general, since you're single, I'm, I'm going single scenarios. So, like, prime example, I'm talking about any guy. Like, you met, like how you met me in an Uber. Not me, per se. You met me in an Uber. But, hey, let me kiss your bare ass. You, you'll let kiss your bare uh, ass. Oh, no. No, I'm not. You gotta be on that level. Like, I mean, because I'm just not like the type to let me. I'm not the type to get in from anybody. I'm not the type to just pull down my pants and let anybody kiss my ass. <laughs> no, uh uh. Because, uh uh, nah, that shit weird. We just gotta be on that level. Well, what's, the what's the level? What's the level? Like, meat milk and we all put the same hoes, we all about the same clothes, because there's levels to this shit. Okay. Okay. No, no, I'm just saying, what if he was cool? Oh, we was cool. Like, I mean, I'm no, not I'm not just saying like, a random guy you met on the street. That's mad weird. I'm thinking you're saying like a guy that I met from Uber. Like, it's like in that scenario. I'm like, I'm not letting like just random Uber drivers just kick my ass. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. <laughs> but um, if we were on that level, yeah, like, okay, but kind of look right cheek, left cheek. Oh, shit. What is the level, though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What's the level? Uh, the levels, I mean, like, we have to be. Talking like I like we have to be yeah because I'm not gonna be having sex with anybody I'm like I don't do one night stands some people do it I don't okay that's just not me I mean yeah everybody got their own little preferences and stuff but yeah so for me um I would definitely say we have to be talking like just we'll be have cool to be talking and get into like we'll be talking and on that level where I'm like sexually sexually attracted to you because you could talk to somebody mm -hmm. and not be like Sexually, like attracted to them. I think I mean, that's everybody everyday. Has their own. <laughs> I think that's an everyday huh? thing. We talk to a lot of people, we're not attracted to them. Yeah, like general. a lot of people. I feel like a lot of people nowadays, even more than ever, just be talking to people just to have somebody just on their line. That's pitiful. Yeah, just so that they don't feel bored or all that shit. Yeah, I think that's a little weird. No, no, no. I ain't just saying some random. I'm just talking about somebody being cool, not exactly being your guy. Just cool. Oh, like Yeah, like yeah. Friend. Not just no random dude walking down the street. That's kind of... That would be interesting, uh, but... Yeah. yeah, it depends on what friend because I don't want to... I definitely don't want to, you know, give that friend the wrong vibe. Okay. Okay. Because you know how they say sex does change stuff. Yeah, it does. Well, I mean, I guess... On, on that note, you know, you you should know what the what it is from the gate. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, I wasn't just saying no dude. Just say, hey, how you doing? Like, lift your dress up. I'm about to kiss your ass cheek. Like, that's kind of, that's some Mardi Gras shit. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, just, just cool. Not per se, because obviously if he was your boyfriend, he could do things. I'm just talking about somebody that's cool. You, you cool with them. Yeah. Yeah, and he just wanted to lay one on the butt. So, like, hey, let me just kiss your ass. Full out. I'm like, I feel like we're on that level. Like, if I'm sexually attracted to him, then yeah. yeah. But if I'm not sexually attracted to him, no. Okay, 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 okay. Have a uh, condom ever broke inside you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why you scared? Yeah, that's yeah. And I would say it has broken, but it has came off. Okay, why well, do it? Don't like that mean you got the little head. joint, a little scully, the scully coming off the uh, head? Ain't that's like a little joint or no? Nah? Uh, 
What you say? Don't that mean you got a little joint if the scully came off in the ocean? No, like, it was just, it was just very, like, slippery. Like, very slippery. And the condoms just could not withstand the waterfall that was just coming. (laughs) Jason's waterfall. (laughs) But, yeah, it just didn't know what to do. And it just got so slippery down there. And with the first thing, it just ended up sliding its way off. So basically, you telling us you already know you got that 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 wet. Yeah, wet I got that good with that wet wet that makes them come back for more. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! What about girls with dry boxes? That's sad. Ain't that's like a yeast infection or no? What you say? Ain't if they box dry, it's something like something ain't right, right? Yeah, but also it probably might be the way that they're pleased. Like, because like I said, a lot of dudes don't even know how to please a woman. Like, they think that just by rubbing the clit real hard that it's like the magic time machine and the shit just gonna magically get wet. No. Like, you have to be gentle. Just like niggas don't want girls biting down on their dick and rubbing their dick real hard and tearing, you know. Sexually attracted to with words without even touching her physically, that's step one. But if you know how to caress her body, definitely please her needs and um, produce horniness yeah. within her. And that's step two, and knowing to do what to do down there, like with the tongue and the fingers and your dick. Then if they I got dirty fingernails. Like, you are on the way. What you say? What if they got dirty fingernails? Uh, uh clip that shit. Because that's, <laughs> that's another reason why a lot of girls just be, like, over it. Like, because niggas be uh, having dirty, long fingernails like they're a bitch. Like, clip that <laughs> shit. You either got that shit because you're a dirty-ass nigga or you're doing coke. Oh, that's shit. That's the only reason you have long fingernails. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit. Look, yeah, they could throw a, uh, they could throw a half a gram on their little finger and, and do a bump and be up all night. But uh, what about a nigga wearing silk in the winter and leather in the summer? What do you think of that guy? Um, <laughs> you wearing leather in the summer and silk in the winter? Summer. I mean, yeah, you're a nigga. Yeah. Like, I mean, I've seen cute little like leather dresses, leather. Uh, no, a guy. Pieces. You know, guy. that's for girls, but for a nigga wearing leather, not that shit gotta go. I mean, it's too hot for that shit, especially in Georgia. You step in your car, you pass out in the leather. Nigga, nigga like, feel like a couch. Nah. Nigga feel like a couch. Huh? I said a nigga feel like a couch. Yeah. <laughs> and that is probably clever, so they should stick them together. So, let me ask you this. So, if you got with a guy and he was a uh, Muslim and, and say your religion was Christian, would you uh, convert to his... Uh, to his religion or no? No. Like, ain't nothing against people who, uh, you know, are Muslim or any other race. I mean, I race, but religion. But me, you know, I won't convert. Mm-mm. Would you, would you do some coke with your significant other? Coke? No. I'll smoke, but I can't do coke because you it's smoke like. Smoke some crack? I've heard, I've had a lot of people, like, honestly die from that. So for me, I, that's just something I've always told myself I couldn't do. What, what about take take a Percocet? Like, weed, I've never like. I mean, some people have had negative experiences, but with me, I'll be knowing like where my weed come from and all that type of stuff. So I don't just be getting that shit from anybody. And that is like the only drug I can do. Like I won't be doing no popping pills. No, like, what about I lean? Would you drink some lean? Side effects from that and positive. What about lean? So for me, huh? No lean? I would do weed, but not... No lean. Video. Drink some lean and smoke weed. A lean? I've had, I've had lean. Oh. Um, it was cool, but it was like a downer drug. Like, it just made me tired. Oh, okay. Okay. And for that, I didn't enjoy it because I thought we were going to have like a 
Like, I knew it was going to be, like, a downer, but I thought it was going to be, like, more like of a chill. Like, you know how you are when you hide, but that was just something else. Like, it was just, like, I felt stuck. Like, I felt like I had chains on, and they was heavy as hell. So, I was like, yeah, I can't do this shit anymore. So, uh, yeah, no, I was just asking, because, you know, females usually get with guys, and they tend to be like, okay, Shit, my girl gonna smoke. I'm gonna smoke. I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna snort. I'm gonna shoot up. They, they, you get. Even though that's a all bad habits, they get into it. It, it was just seeing would you match their fly and match whatever they're doing. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not matching their fly. That's actually ruining your fucking life, right? Mm mm. Yep, I can do it. And more than likely, you'll be selling pussy on Fulton Industrial for uh, a rock. Yeah, people be doing that shit, but I'm not. Got you, got you. So, what's your uh, final thoughts on the subject? I'm going to just give you mine right quick. I just think it's fucking bullshit that females go for uh, bad guys and not good guys. And the good guys it, it finish last and they end up with some fat bitch living in the projects, only, uh, working at Family Dollar where the good guy go to jail. He get out of jail. He have a badass female such as yourself and he can smoke all the weed. He can slang all the dirty cock. He can do what he want. And he have pretty little kids and stuff where, where this guy, this damn square got this fat ass bitch. And more than likely, he's going to kill himself at 44. But go ahead. For me, I definitely feel like it's a that, like you said, the good guys feel like the ones that are winning in the end. When they're the ones who really don't even want a positive future for themselves. They want to be in and out of jail. They don't want to amount to the level of success that they really could amount to if they put their mind to it and that the good guys are the ones who, you know, are downplayed, the ones who are considered lame just because they not out here following the trends, they're rather pursue a career job and an education versus street credit. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad that a lot of women are setting themselves up for failure by being with a lot of these good dudes or the dudes who are the bad guys because it's like if they choose that lifestyle for their life, if yeah. they choose to accept of being accepting the possibilities of putting you at risk and putting you in danger and in harm's way because you could easily get shot at. You know, you could oh, easily shit. be set up in the drive by you easily could get killed by just knowing the nigga. Right, right. Then, I mean, he really don't care for you because obviously if he did, he would not put his loved ones and the ones that he really fucked with in harm's way. That's so true. That sounds like some real life Oakland shit, too. That don't sound like Atlanta. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds some local shit. So, you know what? I thank you for coming on. Uh, Will you be returning thank with us? Thank you for us? having me. No, I want you to come back because I want you to talk to Justify. Like, <laughs> the shit he be talking about going to blow your mind. So I want to, like, next time you able to uh, do the show. And, it, 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 it you know, it'd be like 45 minutes. And all. I know you're busy. Definitely busy. If people follow your gram, we could, I could tell you're busy. Wait, what you say? I said I could tell you're very busy. I could see your Instagram and see that you're busy. I just want to know next time yeah. you'll be able to uh, do it. When am I able to do it? Yeah, able to do it. I'm sorry, baby. Yes. When I'm able, able to do the phone call again? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you all the way. Uh, we could definitely... Ooh, not able to do it. I know. I'm definitely <laughs> um, <laughs> Do... Cause just just text me whenever you... Just text me when you're ready. Okay, I'm going to text you because I'll say next week I know for sure it's like... Greek picnic. Yeah, that's so correct. I'll be yeah. busy from that Thursday to that Sunday. Okay, no, no. Just text me whenever you're free and it's all good. But I thank you so much for coming on, though. I appreciate it. I highly thank appreciate it. Thank you for it. having me. No, all day. You be wilding. You from Oakland. <laughs> yes. <laughs>